Joyce here, a certified health coach. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm super excited to celebrate food and my culture with you all through Filipino Independence Day, which happened on June 12, 1898, making this year the 124th year. Also, June 12th is my mom's birthday, so this video is in honor of her and her vegetable lumpia recipe. L-U-M-P-I-A, lumpia is a Filipino spring roll. And my friends, Maxi and Jonathan are here how to make it. So let's get started. All right guys, so what you're gonna need is TYJ spring rolls. And the reason why is this has the least ingredients and there are other ones that have a lot of fillers and preservatives. So this is a really nice choice. They come 25 in a pack. So there's a hundred because we're gonna go for a hundred today and we need two large sweet potatoes. We're gonna peel it like this, and then we'll julienne it. Also, you can check out the carrots video, how to chop carrots, so you can see how to julienne. Then we have medium to large onions, two of those, one large garlic bulb, olive oil, and two pounds of beans. So they can be French beans or regular beans. Now that the veggies are all prepped and cut, make sure you have a large pot. It does not have to be a wok like this, okay? We have a lot of vegetables, so it's important that your container can contain all of them. All right, so if you're curious about the green beans and how they're cut, link is above and in the description below. Also, make sure you have a large strainer and a bowl to cool and drain the mixture. All right, now that pan is a medium high heat, we're going to add one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Let that heat up a little bit. And then we're gonna use the finely chopped onions. And there were two onions. Just get that going. And I'll give you guys the times at the end for how long to saute these vegetables for because we don't want them to be wilted. They should be al dente because they are still gonna cook while they are getting fried. Okay, it's been about five minutes sauteing these onions. Let's go ahead and add the minced garlic. And we'll start off with our sweet potatoes. And don't worry, I know it looks like a lot, but it will wilt down because they're vegetables. I just got a message from my producer and saying that Maxi did a lot of the cutting for this. So I just wanna give her a quick shout out. Okay, as you can tell, the sweet potatoes have actually shrunk down, so there's more room. So let's go ahead and add our string beans, sorry, green beans. <laughs> I heard that was um, an archaic way to call green beans, so let's stay modern and keep up with the times. But yeah, go ahead and stir it again so it's well incorporated. And I did add the green beans last because they cook a lot quicker than the sweet potatoes. This looks like it's good. Turn off the heat and we're going to set this aside. And I do recommend using a strainer so that it can help capture any liquid on the bottom. It also helps it cool down a lot quicker. As promised, I'm giving you guys the vegetable cooking time. So saute the onions for five minutes, then add the garlic and sweet potatoes together for another five minutes. Then lastly, the green beans for another five minutes. So five, 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 that's nice and easy to remember, right? And the mixture, allow it to cool for about 30 minutes. While that filling is cooling down, I highly suggest you make the dipping sauce so that all the flavors can meld together. So what you need is a half a cup of datu puti, which is a authentic Filipino vinegar made out of sugar cane. So go ahead and put that in the bowl right there. Okay, and then just smash garlic. So I use like six cloves. I like a lot of garlic. So just do it to your taste, okay? Just add to your taste. And I'm just smashing it like that after I've already peeled it. And it's going to marinate in that vinegar. And then I just add a pinch of salt. Okay, that was a huge pinch. Do that if you like salt. And freshly cracked pepper. And you're gonna go ahead and stir this up and let it sit until you are ready to have your lumpia. All right guys, now that the filling is completely cooled, we can get started on this. So what you're gonna need is an eighth of a cup 
um, measuring cup. All right, so that's two tablespoons. And as you can tell, the spring roll pastry is now very pliable. So you could just uh, defrost them on the countertop, single layer for 30 minutes, and that'll work just fine. So I'm showing you guys just opening it like this. Uh, don't You don't have to be fussy like me, but I like to have it nice and opened in a certain way. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when you peel it out. And so you're just gonna take one piece off and it's kind of stretchy. There you go. So you just put it back there and try to cover it so it doesn't dry out. And then place it on your plate in a diamond shape. And then you're gonna take your, your measuring cup, which is two tablespoons right here, and you're going to place it on the bottom of the wrap. I wanna show you guys two ways to wrap this. So this is the one that my mom taught me. So you're taking the bottom part of the wrap and you're kind of tucking it under. And then you're going to fold one side and then the other side and try not to make it too tight on the end so it doesn't open up when it's cooking. And then you're just gonna roll it towards the top part of the diamond, just like that. Okay, and then you're gonna take some of the water in that small bowl and put it at the top part of the wrapper and continue to roll, and there you go. So when you lay it down, make sure that the seam here is facing down on a clean table. Another tip I want to share with you guys for rolling a better lumpia is this motion. Roll and pull, roll and pull, roll and pull. And hopefully that'll get you to a tighter lumpia. So the other way is more forgiving, I think would, would some people would say. So again, put the filling kind of close to the bottom of that diamond. And then you're gonna fold it on the sides first instead of the bottom of the triangle. And then you'll take the bottom part of the diamond rather and fold it like this and just tuck and continue to roll just like that. And then when you're done with it, wet the top of the diamond and again, know where the seam is and place the seam down while you continue to wrap the other lumpia. If you like what you're seeing so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to stay updated on future videos as soon as they come out. Or connect with me on Instagram and Facebook at Cala Health and Wellness. Or if you're curious about a 20 minute free consult, email me at jm at calahealthandwellness.com. We're about to fry up some of the lumpia, but if you don't, want to fry all 82 in one day that's okay you can totally store them you can freeze them but i highly suggest that you dry them out on the table so that they don't stick together when you put them in the ziploc bag we are going to fry our lumpia and we're going to use canola oil but you can use any kind of vegetable oil so the heat is on medium guys media not medium high or high and the reason for that is that we want to reduce as much splatter as possible. And I learned this trick from my dad. So I'm filling up this large skillet or frying pan about halfway with the oil for a shallow fry. And we're going to use a wooden spoon so we can evenly distribute the temperature of the oil. I just want to pop in here real quick to let you know that I made a Filipino meal prep video that contains six recipes in one video to celebrate Filipino Independence Day last year. So the link is above and in the description below. Please check it out. All right, so while we're waiting for the oil to come to temperature, we're going to use a bowl right here and line it with some paper towels. So this is where we're going to place our cooked lumpia so it drains. To test if the oil is ready, just go ahead and take your wooden spoon and see if it starts to bubble on the sides. And it's slightly doing it right here. 
as you can tell. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we're just gonna drop the lumpia very slowly into the oil. Make sure it's seam side down. Don't be scared, it's okay. It's about 10 to 15 minutes on one side, then flip it and it should be about five to 10 on the other. Stay attentive because you are frying. And for the frozen leftover lumpia, okay, please don't thaw it out. It's okay to fry it just like this. And it's about 15 or so minutes on one side and five to 10 on the other. All right, it's all fried up. Half of this bowl, which you can tell at the top part, is way number one. And the bottom part is way number two, so they look totally different. And we'll check out how the mouth feel is like when we bite into them. This is Maxi. She helped with everything. Even these awesome pictures that you see in this video. So far, what is it like? Good. <laughs> Very crunchy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Crunchy. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Potato. Potato's good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yum, okay, cool. Way number one, the way we wrapped it, which is a little bit more challenging. Yes. Careful, it's mm. super hot. to make your own lumpia at home. Um, I encourage you to continue to practice and be patient because it takes a lot of that to make beautiful lumpias, but I'm so confident that you will do that in the future. Please check out your local Asian market for these ingredients or Google a local Filipino restaurant to try out other cultural foods from the Philippines. Um, special thanks to my mom for this recipe and Maxi and Jonathan for coming over to learn how to make lumpia. And maraming salamat sa iyo lahat, which is thank you to all of you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share, or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank y'all so, so much. See y'all next week. And remember, you deserve to be happy and healthy. Thanks, mom.